Know Now channel presents Asymmetric Information and Adverse Selection. Asymmetric information simply means that one of the parties have more information than the other. This normally attributes itself when the seller of a good or service has greater knowledge than the payer, although the opposite is also possible. The first case is that the seller knows more than the payer. Example, Frank sells his phone to someone else after using it for a year. Thus, even if a buyer uses the phone to check out its quality, he may still lack to have full information. Let's say he checks the phone and buys it. A few days later, he realizes that the phone had some problems such as shutting itself down unexpectedly approximately every day and that was the thing Frank didn't have any moral to mention. So that's the reason why used phones, cars and other products lose their prices after a certain amount of time even if it has no problem as the new ones. Example number two. A company's managers may more willingly issue shares when they know the share price is overvalued compared to the real value. Buyers can end up buying overvalued shares and lose money. But how can a payer have more information than a seller? Let's see. Example number one. Medical doctors tend to know more about their patient's situation than their patients. Example number two. The most popular example about this is insurance service. This example contains asymmetric information as well as adverse selection. When you are making health insurance for a part of your body, there is no doubt that you know more about yourself than the insurance company. Therefore, they determine an average price for everyone. But if the company charges an average price and only high-risk consumers buy, then the company takes a financial loss and this is called adverse selection. Second adverse selection example. A company insuring cars will find those living in high crime areas will be more likely to want to get car insurance. Again, if the average cost is charged, it can lead to insurance firm losing out. So now, as you already know the asymmetric information, you can also understand moral hazard problem as well as lemon theory from the links in the description which is related to this topic. By the way, I advise to watch moral hazard problem before lemon theory. Thanks for watching, the link for the text is in the description and you may like or even subscribe for more videos like this.